Hello everyone, Andrew here, and welcome to another Banjo-Kazooie bonus video. Last time I talked a lot about Stop and Swap, uh, showed how you could get all of the Stop and Swap items, and just talked about some of the theories that people have uh, about how it might work. And in this bonus video, we are returning to the Sandcastle to enter more cheat codes. So unlike the cheat codes from before, which you probably would have found in Banjo-Tooie that would allow you to get you know, all of the Stop and Swap items that are hidden in this game, these cheat codes are things, I don't know if maybe they put them in player's guides, or maybe they were just debug things that the player was never supposed to find out about, that you can use to do kind of cool things inside of the game. So I thought it would just be neat uh, to show some of these off, since I think there are a lot of people out there who know absolutely nothing about these codes. Now, I mean, there's codes that can do things like uh, give you infinite eggs, or uh, give you more health, or... Uh, give you infinite there, or and there's even uh, codes that can do things like unlock levels and open up note doors that you don't have enough notes or uh, jiggies to open yourself. So it can give you uh, a few advantages in the game like that. Although it is important to note that if you enter too many of a certain type of code, it actually will erase your file. It gives you no, uh, it gives you warnings of this, so you don't need to you know be too concerned about that. But overall, um, I am just going to show um, exactly how this works. And we might even just, you know, take a look at what happens when your data kind of combusts in on itself. Uh, but anyway, the first kind of codes that I have are ones that deal with items or health. And uh, they can help you out throughout the game. And you can enter as many of these codes as you want. And it will have no negative effect on your save file, so it will, it will uh, definitely not delete anything. The thing that you must note about these codes, though, is that every time you turn on the game, or start your file up again, you will need to re-enter these codes. So these codes do not save, um, and yeah, again, if you want to use them every time you play, uh, you're going to re-enter them. So like I said, uh, these codes, one of, the one that I'm going to enter right now gives you infinite blue eggs. And just like when we entered stop and swap cheats, you will want to enter cheat, so C-H-E-A-T. So uh, even if I do not note it, or when I put the cheats on the screen, uh, it does not say it. You always need to enter cheat before entering any of the cheats that I am about to give. Also, all of the cheats will be down in the comments if you do not want to know. Look through the video to find whichever one I talk about. They will all be down there for you to conveniently uh, print off if you wish. But anyway, like I said, we were going to do a cheat for Infinite Blue Eggs. So, uh, the cheat for that is Banjo Bags for Plenty of Eggs. So, let me see. Of course, just like the Stop and Swap cheats, it takes a long time to enter these. Luckily, some of them are not nearly as long as some of the Stop and Swap cheats. Let me see. So, Banjo Bags. Do not want to accidentally screw up as I am talking. Let's see. So, Bags. Four. Where the heck is that crazy F? There it is. It's very hard to see which ones are in the corner. So, four. Let's not spell plenty wrong. P L E N T Y. Leave the P is over here. Yes, it is. So, P L. I will not take as long to enter the other ones, I promise. P L E N. Luckily, we put the N right by the E there. T Y. Almost there. Of. Eggs. E G G S. And when you complete a code, listen for the sound. That means that you entered it correctly. So yes, yeah, so that, because just like when you enter the stop and swap cheats, you're going to hear me say that a lot, because there are a lot of similarities to entering these cheats. It is not obvious that you are entering the correct letters. The only indication is when you are finished entering the cheat, you will hear that sound. So now, if we press start, you will see, well, you still have 58 eggs, you know? It doesn't really look like the cheat did anything, but if we actually use the eggs, you will notice that the number never goes down. So pretty much you have absolutely infinite eggs. Now, it is an interesting fact that, you know, this is all of a sudden popping into my mind. I should have tried it out so I could tell you guys. I do not know what happens if you have zero eggs. I guess maybe it won't work, but then, you know, if you pick up one egg, it will never go down. So then that's probably what would happen if you had zero eggs. But overall, that is just an example of how one of the infinite kind of item cheats would work. And, of course, there's the same thing for red feathers and uh, infinite gold feathers, where red feathers is a uh, cheat. Now you can fly high into the sky, and gold feathers is cheat, a golden glow to protect Banjo. So, uh, of course, enter those. They will be super helpful, especially gold feathers. People will know how much I love those. Um, next cheat I want to enter is one that has to do with in, uh, more health. So we have to enter cheat once again. 
You do not have to uh, exit and come back in as long as you have not pressed any letters that do not have to do with the cheat. So C-H... E18, you should still be hearing that mooing as you enter cheat. Alright, so now we have to enter an energy bar to get you far. And what this cheat will do is no matter how far you are in the game, so see, I, I didn't even bother getting the empty honeycombs uh, in Spiral Mountain. This is just like, you know, a waste file. Um, what will happen is this will give you eight uh, pieces of energy. So E. I hope I did not press that E already and I just forgot. <laughs> E-N-E-R-G-Y So yeah, no matter how much health you have, um, it will take you up to 8 complete pieces. So of course this would be pointless, I mean, if you already had 8. Um, but otherwise, it is quite useful. And again, even though it gives you 8, when you turn off the game, it will take you back to whatever you were uh, before you entered this cheat. So an energy bar to get you far. Let's see, so T-O... Get you far. So why oh you? They're nice and placed them all right together. I'd never <laughs> noticed that before. Why oh you? I believe the F is over here. There we go. F A and R. So you go. There's that sound. You press start, and look at that. Eight honeycombs. So even though there are enough empty honeycombs that you think there would be nine, eight is actually the max. So pretty much what it is doing. Uh, it, it, it is giving you the max number of honeycombs that will fit there. Unfortunately, it does not also give you the red health, which doubles the amount of uh, damage that you can take. That would have been pretty cool if the cheat did that. Unfortunately, there is no cheat code here for that. And there is one more cheat code that I want to enter that uh, deals with infinite items like this. And it is actually a mumbo token cheat code. But again, do not forget to enter cheat. C-H... E A T, and like I said, this cheat code will give us 99 Mumbo tokens, and it is, don't be a Dumbo, go see Mumbo. I like exactly what that is thinking there. Um, overall, it is an important note that while this has no side effects on the Nintendo 64 version, it will affect your uh, if you are playing it on Xbox Live Arcade. Now, it's not a negative effect on your game or anything like that. Um, what it does is it actually stops you from saving after you enter the codes. Which means like say you entered an infinite health, uh, like an extra health code or an infinite eggs code, um, you would not be able to save your game progress after that point if you're playing it on the Xbox. That does not apply to uh, the Nintendo 64 version. You can enter these codes every time you play and absolutely nothing will happen. These are not the codes that will have any chance of erasing your game. So let's see, I believe D U M. Too busy talking, not busy enough paying attention to where the letters are. Don't be a Dumbo. Go see Mumbo. So let's see. We have S and then double E. Which is nice because they're red. They don't have to go anywhere. C Mum Bo. So let's see. Where the heck is the B? The B is right back at the beginning. And let's see if I answered that correctly. There you go, so it takes you all of the way up to 99 Mumbo Tokens. Now there is an important thing to note about this cheat, and that is that even if you turn off the game and turn it back on, unlike the eggs cheat where you will no longer have infinite eggs, or unlike the health where it would take me back down to 5, the Mumbo Tokens will not go back down to whatever number it is that you had before you entered the cheat. So like I had, I think it was like one Mumbo Token. If I turn the game off and turn it back on, I will still have 99 Mumbo tokens. So pretty much entering it is pretty much a clear way to show pretty much anyone that you have cheated. Since it does not go back down, I mean, who really cares? If you if you want infinite Mumbo tokens, it's, who, who really cares about that, right? So that it's just kind of an interesting fact that this is the only cheat that does not revert after you turn the game off. So that, that's why I definitely wanted to enter the Mumbo token one, uh, just to point that out. But other cheats that um, give you infinite things that I am not pointing out, um, give the bear, uh, cheat, of course, always remember, enter cheat before any of these, uh, give the bear lots of air, will give you infinite air. So, of course, that would be great, um, in Rusty Bucket Bay, or if you're swimming underneath the ice in Clickbuck Wood, and there's also, uh, lots of goes with mini banjos would give you infinite lives, although, I mean, this game doesn't really have, um, a big shortage of lives anyway, but yeah, so there are just some, uh, interesting cheats that deal with infinite items or, like, more health, uh, or, uh, infinite air. 
The next thing that I want to do is I want to enter some cheat codes that modify things in the game. So like they'll open up doors or they'll make things appear that you would normally have to, you know, like hit a switch or something to do. It is important to note that if you enter three of these cheats, it will erase your save file. So you can enter one, you can enter two, and you'll be fine. So like look at the, look at the list in the in the uh, description and look at the two that you need the most and enter them and you'll be good. But if you enter a third one, Next time you start up the game, your file will be completely gone and it will be a new game where your file was. It will not affect the other two files like you're going to see. It's going to say your game pack will erase. That's not true. It only erases the file that you are playing. So, I mean, you could be like me and you'll just want to fool around a little bit. Create a new file. It takes like 10 minutes to get the uh, Treasure Trove Cove. And just have fun with these cheats. But overall, don't use these on your super 100% file. Even though, I mean, it doesn't take that long to 100% banjo consume anyway. But if you do not want to lose your hard uh, work save data, uh, do these on a separate file. So since these cheats are a little bit longer, I am not going to, you know, talk while I enter each of them. But I will uh, you know, like drive in the fact that you must enter cheats. Do not leave a comment saying that the cheats do not work. I mean, if they really don't work and you did enter cheat, then please let me know and I'll fix it. But uh, do not forget to enter cheat before you enter the actual cheat code. Now, the first one that I'm going to enter is, don't despair, the tree jiggy podium is there. Now, this will make the jiggy podium appear in front of the click clock wood puzzle, which is something that you can usually not do until close to the end of the game. So if for some reason you really want to fill that puzzle and you're nowhere near the end, you can enter this cheat and uh, do that. So here we go. Well, it would appear that you cannot enter that code at this point, so you know, fun times for all. But, nevertheless, I guess the next thing that we might as well move on to is a cheat to open up a level. That's bizarre that cheat doesn't work, but I'm assuming that maybe they don't want you to be able to put pieces into it in case you somehow break the game and put yourself in a situation where you don't have enough Jiggies to complete a puzzle, since, I mean, that puzzle does take four, uh, I believe it's... 14 pieces? No, it takes 15 pieces. So, I guess that's why they don't want you to do that. I would assu have assumed that it works. So, uh, discovering new things while making the video. I guess it's it's pretty great. But anyway, next thing we're going to do is, up is uh, open up Bubble Gloop Swamp with a cheat that goes now into the swamp. You can stomp and do not forget to enter cheat before it. So, let's try this one and hope that this one actually works. So there you go. Even though it does not show it, unfortunately, that cheat did open up Bubble Gloop Swamp, and we heard the confirmation sound this time, unlike when we entered the last cheat, so uh, that level is not open. But you might be saying, we don't have enough notes to get there, so what the heck was the point of opening up Bubble Gloop Swamp? Well, luckily for us, there are cheats for opening up note doors as well. And we're going to open up the note, do uh, the, uh, note door that blocks our way by entering the cheat. These go right on through note door two. So let us enter that one now. And another cheat that for some reason does not work. I don't understand all of the cheats that I did when I was preparing for this video, you know, so that this, I've done cheats before 
I did cheats to make sure that they worked before I made this video, and for some reason, the cheats that I chose to enter in the actual video aren't working, and I cannot figure out why. But this poses an interesting question. Why aren't they working? So if someone is watching this and they see that it's not working for a certain reason, please post a comment about that. But because I want everyone to see that your file really does erase, if you don't listen, I'm going to enter ones that I did when I was just testing this to make sure it worked. As you know, for some reason, I guess that the ones that I want to do in the video, for some reason, just do not feel like working. So the next one that we're going to enter is one that removes the lid of a coffin that has the water raising switch in it near Mad Monster Mansion. Why you would ever want to enter a cheat to do something so useless is beyond me, but this cheat apparently works. So, um, the cheat that we're entering is, this should get rid of the crypt coffin lid. But I'm going to have to go out and come back in in order to enter it. Bah! Now if we go back in, remember to enter cheat, and then this should get rid of the crypt coffin lid. Man. So, yeah, beware when you're entering the cheats that I have in the uh, description below, because who knows which ones might actually work. But again, if you know why some of them are not working, please post a comment, because I would love to hear what the heck is wrong with this. Anyway, proceeding on. Alright, so here we go. So we've entered two cheats, and Grunty warns us that if we enter one more, she is going to uh, erase our game. So even though that cheat that we entered was really, really dumb, I had to do it just to kind of uh, demonstrate that to you. So let me see. Let us enter one more cheat. And the last one that we're going to do is they cause you trouble, but now they are rubble. And this will remove all breakable walls inside of Gruntilda's lair. So let's enter cheat and let's erase our game. Alright, so there we go. Your third cheat. Bottles will come and warn you that your game pack will be erased. But remember I said that it actually only erases the file that you're on. So if you just made up like a, you know, a lame file for this kind of thing, you have nothing to worry about. But if we press A, let's see what happens. So press A for yes or B for no. Let's press A. <laughs> So even though she says that the game pack is erased, like I said, it's only the file, but yeah, that is exactly how it works. You get punished for cheating, although the funny thing is, is that you can just keep playing as much as you want, as long as, you know, you're not, like, when you quit and come back, the file will be gone. And again, if you're playing on Xbox Live Arcade, you will not be able to save after using any of the cheats. But anyway, let's save and quit and see just how erased our file is. You can skip the cutscene, you can skip the logos at the beginning. We can also skip this crazy thing of Banjo doing a thing. And let us see. There you go, game number one empty, although our other games are still all intact, including the file that I did the Let's Play with. So there you go. That is a demonstration on how cheats work in Banjo-Kazooie. I know that a lot of people always question, Oh no, does it erase your entire game pack like it says? So I mean, I don't blame people for thinking that. Or does it only erase the file that you were playing? So there you go, that is the file that we were playing and it got erased. Although otherwise, just have fun with these things. I mean, if you only enter two, you're good. If you can get them to work, that is. I mean, no, this video is absolutely trouble-free. Oh, unfortunately, I don't know why we hit kind of a snag there. It's kind of silly, but... Enter as many of the infinite item cheats as you want. The only thing is you're going to have to re-enter them every time you play, but otherwise, um, just use them and have fun. Who cares if you're using cheats? The main thing is that you have fun while you're playing the game. Uh, so if they help you through, uh, just go for it. 
And yeah, hopefully everyone enjoyed this video despite the snags. So anyway, uh, that's it for this right now. I hope that you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time for something different. So thanks, and see you later.